Good. Good evening. It's Monday, November 27th, 2017. It's 7 p.m. and welcome to the Speedway Town Council meeting. I'm Gary Rakes, President of the Council. We'd like to welcome those in attendance this evening. And uh, I'd like to make introductions of those that are participating. Uh, to my far right is Councilor Eileen Fisher. Good evening. In my immediate right is Vice President Council Jeff Matthews. Good evening. To my immediate left would be Dave Lindsay. Mr. President, good evening, sir. That's a nice looking beard you have going Thank there, you, Mr. Sir. Lindsay. Appreciate that. Uh, and our town manager, uh, Jacob Blaisdell. Good evening. And our clerk treasurer, Monty Cohn. Good evening. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start with the Pledge of Allegiance this evening. If everyone rise and salute the flag. <clears throat> Pledge of Allegiance, Allegiance to, to the, the flag. flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, everyone. First couple of items on the agenda are approval of Town Council meeting, um, excuse me, approval of Town Council meeting minutes from November 13th. Any changes or comments on those? We'll accept those as distributed previous to, previous to the meeting. And the item three in the agenda, approval of the memorandum for the November 13th executive session of the town council. Any comments on those? Those are accepted as well. Uh, moving to item four, approval of the 2018 Town of Speedway designated holiday calendar. And Jacob, you want to cover this for us, please? Uh, I think it's the uh, standard typical holidays, um, not not every holiday is observed um, I don't think we're observing Columbus Day or some some of the smaller holidays but um, hopefully it's uh, standard and uh, it's it's uh, included in the packet and uh, hopefully you agree with the days and can uh, approve this as proposed take a motion mr. president I approve I, uh, I suggest we approve the 2018 town of Speedway designated holiday calendar second yeah, we have a motion to approve the designated holiday calendar. Any comments or questions? All those in favor of approving this, say aye. 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 Now those not in favor, it carries 4-0. Uh, next item is approval of the 2018 Board and Commission meeting calendar. Uh, Jacob, you want to describe that, please? Yeah, sure. Um, the scheduled days are when the different boards and commissions typically meet. Um, we like to give a little bit of leeway uh, as different boards and commissions find dates or times that, that work a little bit better for them. Um, but uh, this is my first year going through this, so I'm assuming uh, it's, it's tradition for council to kind of approve that, <clears throat> that standard kind of typical meeting time, giving leeway to uh, the different boards and commissions to meet whenever it's most convenient for them. Great. Mr. President, I make a motion that we approve the 2018 Board and Commission meeting calendar. Second. We have a motion to approve the 2018 Board and Commission calendar. Any comments or questions? I would agree. I'll give uh, the example to, to Jacob. Uh, years ago, I served on the parks, and it did not meet on the, on the uh, days that it does today, uh, which are the third Monday of the month. And um, it's simply between facilities that were available to hold the meeting and uh, schedules of people that were appointed to the board that had changed we moved that so it's not unprecedented that that does occur but it, uh, it, it uh, there's also somewhat of a process that goes through your <coughs> just making ever the, the, the public aware of, of those changes but uh, we'll go uh, we appreciate the, the information on that so did I call for a vote on this okay so I'll go ahead and do that all those in favor of approving the board and commission meeting calendar for 2018 say aye aye, aye. opposed that carries 4-0. Uh, item 6, agreement with uh, Beck Communications. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this is an agreement with, uh, with Laura Beck of Beck Communications. Uh, she's done miscellaneous communications work for the town. Um, she did the press release when I became town manager as well as Tim Grops and he became economic development director and she's continued to help us in various capacities. I think um, you know, we, we always want to be um, we want to be transparent. We want to get communication out to the community um, quickly and efficiently. Uh, as you all know, when you hired me, PR and marketing and communications is not my background. <laughs> uh, so um, you know, it, it's helpful to have 
uh, a professional that can can make sure we're getting communication out um, not just in terms of basic this is what's going on around town these are project updates but uh, as well as kind of having a plan for different emergency situations that could come up um, so we're reaching as many people as possible and we're being strategic about trying to make sure we're communicating information as it, as we need and get it out um, so this is a, a five-month agreement for her to kind of set up some of that structure uh, as well as some miscellaneous items uh, that are outlined in the proposal in front of you great I have a motion please mr. president I move that we approve the agreement with Beck communications as presented I'll second so we have a motion to approve the agreement with Beck Communications. Any comments or questions? Uh, I would I would uh, make a comment that uh, um, I think all of us have had the opportunity to to see the work of of uh, Beck, and, <coughs> and I, I would also add that um, there were a year and a half, two years where we just had less monies to spend in this area, and uh, although we're still very mindful of our our monies and our budget. Um, um, over the last couple of years, we haven't spent uh, nearly as much, and it's. I think it's. I agree with your comments, Jacob. That it's important for us to kind of manage uh, some of the, some of the communications that that are out there, and so this gives us the opportunity to do that. So, uh, any other comments? Uh, all those in favor of approving the agreement with Beck Communications, say aye. 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 Opposed. This is approved four zero. Item seven on the agenda is the approval agreement with ND Tree Service. Yes, thank you. You're carrying all the weight this evening. No kidding. Just keep coming back to me. Uh, no, that's great. Uh, so we've talked before about the emerald ash borer problem that we have, specifically at Meadowwood Park. Um, a lot of trees have come down, limbs have come down. Um, Wendell and and his team have, have um, and Mike Smith have, have have done a pretty good job uh, of trying to kind of set monies aside to take down trees as, as they can. Um, this past year, uh, or I should say during this past budget session, uh, we and the council put um, funds aside to really just take care of about 100 trees that need to come down. Um, and so uh, we put it out to bid to do it holistically and, and we've done so a little more strategically this time of year going into winter uh, some of the tree service companies have a little less business and they're a little bit hungrier um, we now have a contract in front of us that will allow us to take down all of the trees that that are, are currently dead or dying from emerald ash borer um, Wendell actually told me to text him assuming it's approved tonight right away we had a tree come down uh, just a couple <laughs> days ago so he wants to get them out there right away <laughs> Um, and that's just a problem we're going to keep having until we until we get this taken care of. So um, we had some very competitive bids this round, and we're anxious to get this agreement approved and kind of um, nip this problem in the bud once and for all. Mr. President, I move that we approve the agreement with Indy Tree Services for forty-eight thousand two sixty-five. I'll second. Great. We have a motion to approve Indy Tree Service uh, for. An uh, removal of trees for in the amount of 48,265 are there any questions or comments yes I do mr. president um, can you tell us uh, the process of replanting do we have yeah. a do we have a plan for that so um, Tammy Smith has been really pushing and doing a great job of it of getting the program where you can buy a tree a pretty well grown not like a small little sapling but pretty well established tree for $250 you can dedicate them it also comes with a plaque uh, she's had a lot of success selling those and uh, we hope to continue doing that we don't really have a plan in place other than that as far as putting monies aside we've kind of been sadly we've been spending all of our money trying to get dangerous at-risk trees down sure. um, and so <clears throat> a more exciting way to spend money is to replant trees that aren't going to suffer from the emerald ash borer um, but again, Tammy's had quite a bit of success. We hope she can continue to do that. If she continues on the rate that she's on, we'll we'll have them pretty well replaced. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I had had similar conversation with Tammy, and and even though there's you know, hundred trees or so that might be removed from Meadowood, it's to some degree it's 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 good that it's thinning out the the amount of trees that are there, um, because it gives us an opportunity to have maybe a little more space for additional picnic tables or some other things in that park. But uh, the plantings that she's she's doing are going in both parks, so uh, it can go well. Both parks, Leonard and 
in Meadowood. I don't mm -hmm. uh, so. And folks can dedicate which one they, <clears throat> they want to get to, I think. Yeah. She's kind of trying to persuade to, to Meadowood where the, where the trees are coming down. But if, if, you know, Leonard was significant to somebody for whatever reason, they want whatever tree that they're dedicating in that park, certainly can, can do that. I assume that um, there's a variety of species, like maybe a sycamore tree. Would they be available? You know, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't think we're selling that one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think I think you can dedicate a sycamore tree for sure. Sounds yeah. good. All right. Did you go to school? <laughs> no, okay. Just checking. <laughs> Jeff went to Indiana State, home of the sycamores. Uh, okay. Any other comments or questions regarding trees? And, okay. All those in uh, agreement or approval of uh, the agreement with Indy Tree Service say aye. 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 Opposed. This agreement is approved for zero. And now moving on to <coughs> Ordinance 1300. Back to me. Uh, yes, so this is the salary ordinance. It um, aligns with the budgets that were approved earlier, um, just as a matter of procedure. The salary is a separate ordinance outside of the budget ordinance that um, provides some more specifics and details um, for the pay categories for different employees. Um, this year it is a two and a half percent raise for um, employees of the town um, that's a little bit i checked the the cpi index which was about 2.3 percent so um, this helps our employees kind of stay where they're at uh, as far as you know their their dollars and the buying power that they have um, and so would ask for your approval uh, of this ordinance 1300. great mr president i make a motion we approve ordinance one three zero zero on first reading. Second. We have a motion to approve the salary ordinance and number thirteen hundred. Are there any questions or comments regarding this? I thought we we're going to do an amendment to this oh, ordinance. Oh, sorry. Uh, there is an adjustment to Exhibit A. Um, the very and um, our clerk treasurer um, Monty Combs. Um, wanted to add a, a line item for a part-time administrator. Um, it will be paid as the other, uh, the clerk treasurer and the deputy clerk treasurers, as far as where the funds come from. Uh, the total salary, should we say, is, uh, is estimated about 15000 a year. It's, it's based on hourly, though. Yeah. And, Monty, this was, this was in your budget. You just simply didn't make it into this exhibit? That's correct. Okay. Meyer. Great. Thank you. So in order to correct that, I need to amend my motion. Or a new motion. Um, I believe if you if you wanted to uh, withdraw your motion and then. How about I withdraw my motion, Mr. President? I'd like to make a new motion that we accept Ordinance thirteen hundred with the amendment of adding the part time employee to the clerk treasurer's office okay. on first reading. Okay. You got a second on that first first motion, so someone else would need to withdraw. I will withdraw my second. Okay, and do we have a second on his? And I shall motion. second the new motion. Okay, great. <laughs> Trying to be uh, accurate here as best we can. Um, if, if Bob were here tonight, he would he would help us through this. He would know Robert's rules. He, he chose the, the day to There's a whole out. legal course on it. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's good to be uh, transparent about it. Great. So we have a motion to approve the ordinance 1300, including the uh, the. Uh, amendment. Amendment. Thank you. Uh, as di as discussed a moment ago, uh, are there any more comments or questions? I'd like to make one comment that Jacob that I said that this is a two and a half percent for everyone except for the town council. Correct. Uh, I'd like that to be stated. Thank you. Yeah, and that's that's great. I think all, all the, the full council feels just in discussions that I've had individually with with the council feels the same way. So. Great. All those in favor of approving the salary ordinance uh, 1300 say aye. 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 Opposed? Ordinance 1300 carries 4 0 on first reading. Uh, moving on to item 9 approval of claims, utility adjustments, and any other reports from our clerk treasurer. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Ricks, um, before you is the typical list of claims. As, as we submit to you from uh, November 11th to November 24th and uh, would appreciate your approval of those claims, sir. 
Mr. President, I move that we approve the claims presented to us by Clerk Treasurer. Second. We have a motion to approve the claims as presented. Any comments or questions? All those in favor of approving the claims, say aye. 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 Opposed? And approve 4 0. Adjustments, Mr. President. Actually, for the first time in my time here, as there are none. So I think there's nothing to approve unless the council disagrees. And no motion necessary. Great. Congratulations. Nicely yeah, done. That's, that's helpful. It's kind of a jinx. We had three problems today. We had to make adjustments Great. for the next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as far as other things, the State Board of Accounts is here for our 2016 audit. Uh, it sounds like they're going to hear for our Christmas party, something kind of close to Christmas <laughs> when it sounds, but uh, it's routine and going through it as usual and uh, time consuming and keeps the nice things back here in the back for us so we can have the meeting. But that's about it. Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, uh, our town manager, anything else you'd like to talk about this evening, Jacob? Oh my gosh, you're finally going to let me talk. <laughs> Uh, a few things for my update. Um, I just want to say, you know, there's, there's, folks will notice a lot of activity now along our main street. Um, it's uh, very busy. There's a lot of dirt moving. Um, some parking lots have, have been installed and paved, and, and there's more to come. Um, just, you know, appreciate everyone's patience. This is going to be a great project for our community, the, the Wilshaw development. Um, you know, it's always tough around construction, particularly uh, construction that's coming with 55 public parking spaces but isn't quite here yet um, and you know as we anxiously await those to, to open up um, just appreciate everyone's patience uh, if you're able-bodied typically there's a little more parking on the south side of Main Street um, if you can walk a couple of blocks as you're going to lunch or dinner uh, would certainly ask that uh, that you do that and uh, as I said, just in general, be, be patient as, uh, as construction and, and progress continues to move forward on Main Street. Um, and, you know, appreciate that uh, both Wendell and Tim Grop have been putting a lot of work uh, and, and strategy into where can we open up additional parking. And they, they've been very successful in doing that and continue to work to, to find places where folks can park. So um, just appreciate everyone's patience. Um, and... Uh, also want to mention that uh, 16th and Lyndhurst, that intersection is almost done. If you went through it today, it's, it, it looks just about done. We need to do uh, some repainting of the lines, and uh, there's still bags on, that, on the signal. That's supposed to come off tomorrow. They're supposed to be <coughs> all done tomorrow. Um, weather's looking really good, and it's going to cooperate. That'll pretty much finish up that project, so hope okay. to get that done tomorrow. Uh, Hawk signal on High School Road. Some folks might have noticed that there's been some some work on the base there at the sidewalk, uh, and then we've also put up the the speed check trailers, trying to get people conscious of of their speed going through that area. Um, today we got that special order pull in that that kind of caused the long delay, and um, we do need to, to run some electrical to it, um, but that project is continuing to move forward and um, look for that to come online soon. And I uh, also want to mention and plug the Chamber is having their auction on Thursday um, starting at 5.30, from, it goes from 5.30 to 7.30. Uh, that's their big fundraiser, so anybody is welcome to join. You do not need a ticket. You do need to be 21 or older. Alcohol uh, served at the event. Um, but it, again, 5.30 at Delara have some really neat items um, <coughs> up for bid. So if, uh, if you're looking for something to do, um, should be a fun time, and, uh, and you might win some cool stuff. Um, last but not least, because I can, I'm going to wish my son a happy birthday. <laughs> he turned two today. Uh, his attitude turned two a couple of months ago, though, so we're, uh, we're having a lot of fun with that. So happy birthday to Landon. That's great. That's all I got. Thanks. That's great. Any questions for uh, for Jacob? Uh, the uh, well, I did have something I was going to ask. Uh, boards and commissions. Um, we we approve the calendar for boards and commissions next month. But uh, in terms of um, those who are interested in serving in boards and commissions, is there something you, you could suggest? I know we have a, a, a number of positions open. In some cases, all board positions on on. 
are open. Any, any, any particular suggestions for folks that are interested in getting getting their their interest stated? Yeah. So we have on our website. Uh, you historically you had a form that you needed to print off. I guess theoretically, kind of fill out by hand and check boxes and write out your responses and then scan it and send it in or drop it off. Uh, we do have those physical paper copies. You can come by Town Hall or um, our office at the Annex. Uh, but you now can also go online and submit it electronically. So you can type in your answers, check everything off, whatever you want to do. Um, and so we, we get information that way. If, so if you're interested, uh, I think it's never been easier to, to indicate your interest. Also, though, you can feel free to reach out to me and I can either answer questions or about the different boards of commissions or get in touch with somebody that's on the board of commission. And, um, you know, if, if you're interested, would certainly like to hear from you. Um, it's, that's an important function within, within the community. Um, it's a great way to be involved and, and be helpful. And uh, we, you know, we're always looking for people that are that are engaged and enthusiastic and, and about improving and helping the town. You never know; it might lead to a job. Oh my gosh! Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Great. Uh, okay. Any? Uh, we'll uh, go ahead and take uh, item 11. Our, our town attorney's not here this evening, so we'll scratch that and go to comments or. Or reports from councillors. Uh, Councillor Fisher. I have nothing this evening to report. Councillor Lindsay. I have one thing, Mr. President. Um, in my district at 30th and High School Road at the Meadowood Shopping Center, um, there's a variance petition that has been submitted to our zoning board here in town for a big red liquors uh, to be placed in the shopping center there. Uh, there was supposed to be a hearing for that on January 3rd of 2018. That has been moved. The hearing will not be heard then. The earliest it may be heard is February 7th. I'll keep uh, people uh, in tune on that if that's going to happen. Uh, but at the hearing in February, if, if it's held, they will open it up for town residents to come in and speak either for or against if they wish that uh, business to be in the Meadowood Shopping Center. I know there's been some talk about it in town. Uh, but wanted everyone to know that the hearing in January will not be held for that. I think the zone, zoning board is still going to meet, but just not for that uh, that's petition. Right. So uh, that's all I have for tonight. Great. Thank you. Uh, Vice President Jeff Matthews. Uh, Mr. President, Gary Rakes, I do not have a report this evening. Okay. Uh, and I asked the questions that I had um, concerns or, or what or might have reported to earlier. So with that, unless there's any other comments, I'll go ahead and call the meeting adjourned at 722.